Well, two Savannah hospitals are stepping up their efforts to keep patients and workers safe by further restricting visitors. And right now, WJCL's Emma Hamilton joins us live in Savannah with more on those visitor crackdowns at both St. Joseph's and Candler hospitals. Good morning, Emma. Hey, Chris, good morning. Yeah, that's right. Starting today, St. Joseph Candler will not be allowing any visitors on any of its inpatient units, outpatient services, or the physician office buildings. However, there are some exceptions to this, such as labor and delivery, outpatient surgery, and the emergency departments will be allowing one visitor per day per patient. Patients who are minors in the pediatrics or the neonatal ICU will also be allowed one parent to accompany them. All visitors that are are allowed in the hospital will of course be screened for COVID-19 symptoms. Security and the clinical screening team will continue to be at the front lobbies of each public entrance at the hospital locations in Pooler, Buckwalter and the Nancy N and JC Lewis Cancer and Research Pavilion. The hospital will also begin checking patients temperatures at the Lewis Cancer and Research Pavilion locations, the heart and lung building and the professional office buildings. Hospital officials say they may expand these changes to other entrances at a later date. Again, these visitor restrictions do take effect today and they will be lasting for the foreseeable future. Reporting live in Savannah this morning, Emma Hamilton, WJCL 22 News.